Adventure Quest is a web browser RPG from 2002. And by God, does it look like one. Oh my. Holy shit. Fucking incredible. What? There's something pure about this game. Something endearing that makes me love it despite the shittiness of it. It's a turn-based 2D single-player RPG made in Flash with terrible animations, terrible sound effects, <laughs> terrible presentation, and surprisingly decent gameplay. It's a generic RPG with stats and shit, but unlike many other RPGs, the stats are out in the open, unobfuscated, easy to read and entirely accurate, which honestly, is what I like most in a woman. If you hover your mouse over your portrait, you can see your defense against melee, ranged, and magic attacks. The number is the percentage chance to block that kind of attack. Then you got elemental defense percentages. These determine what percentage of enemy damage goes through for each element. For example, if your darkness defense is at 0%, then dark attacks will do no damage at all. At 50%, they will do half damage, and at 200%, they will do double damage. If you manage to go below 0% and go to minus percent, they'll heal you. I don't think you can do that though, but they can, they can do that. Fucking shitty bitches. You can alter all of these defenses with different shields and armors and stuff. And the enemy's defense percentages can be seen too by hovering your mouse over their portrait, which is great. This makes strategy actually interesting and viable and not annoying because you just look at the stats and compare what you have with your weapon and you whack them with your weapon. You will do your most damage. You just whack them with your good weapon. God, I fucking love killing. Yes. So what do you do in this game? There's combat, but what else? Hey, hey, yeah, you know it, bro. There's nothing else. I mean, really, you don't need that much else other than combat to have fun in an RPG. All you really need is context for what you're fighting and why and in some sort of story mode. You know, what's the lore? Why am I doing anything? And they have stories. Lots and fucking tons and millions of stories. They're all stacked on top of each other year after year, week after week with new content, new quests, new adventure quests, new quest adventures, new dungeons. Oh, there's so much stuff to do. There's huge menus. Look at how big the menus are. You click and there's more. It just keeps going and forever and ever. It's Despite how cluttered that looks, I actually do appreciate that they keep all the old stuff around. Sometimes they do update quests with new artwork and stuff to make them a little more uh, appealing to the modern gamer. Still, they don't really make it appealing to anybody, but it, you know, it's better than it was. I mean, look at this. It's this Zard Hunter quest. You got part one, part two, you know, they look kind of shit, but they look better than some of the other things. And then you get to part three, they haven't updated that one yet. It's just the same as it used to be. It's the old part three. Look, look at how much more ass this game is. Whoa, get a load of them. Gee, wow proud of you. It's just remarkable to me that they would go to the effort of updating many of their quests, but leaving some of the parts of those quests unupdated. So you're just going from this to this with no explanation. You just have to understand that it's an old fucking game and they haven't got time to do everything over. But it's just, it's cute. I love how stupid everything looks. Ew. Ooh. It's, it's Moe. It's fucking the Moeist MMOA ever. Artix Entertainment is the cutest game developer studio. They make this game, they made Dragon Fable, they made Galaxy Faggots, they made all these all these games that they look kind of the same, there's flash games and god damn it, they're so cute. Look at that, they're trying so hard and they it's my favorite. It feels like it's made by a teenager still. It feels like this this project that was started in 2002 by somebody who was like out of college or just in college or just someone young and excited about building their own world. They just wanted to build a world and lore and, and stuff and monsters and skeletons and, and yeah. And they're still doing it. They're still the same guy. Everything's the same. It's there. It's the, it's the soul. It's got so much soul and it's the best game ever made. You know, I hear the phrase guilty pleasure tossed around occasionally, and I wouldn't call this that because I don't feel guilty at all. I love this game. But what I think people mean when they say guilty pleasure is I wouldn't recommend this to anyone, despite my enjoyment of it, because I understand my enjoyment is very personal and doesn't apply to a lot of people. 
and I wouldn't expect it to apply to you. And that's what I'm saying. It's a guilty pleasure in the sense that you shouldn't try it for the first time unless you want to have a quick laugh for five minutes. But if you remember it, you'll be like, oh yeah, oh yeah. And you can go back and play it and it's the same. And you can relive the days of having played this game and you can remember how fucking shit it is, you know. I mean, it's not a particularly engrossing game. The combat often gets repetitive. You level up really slowly and you have to grind a lot. The story is delivered through speech bubbles, but they always put way too much text and story and lore and tar text and story and lore and text into them. Just there's just so many words and I don't care because you can click past them really fast. You don't have to listen to them. You just click, 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 and they, they're gone. You, I just want to hit things with my sword. Oh, and the sound effects. They haven't changed since I first heard them in 2004. They sound terrible. It's the worst game ever made. It's my favorite game ever made. Adventure Quest. Battle on, idiot.